This will be a reading of the book The Way Home or Face to Fire by Jah with the associated biblical cross-reference annotations read from the King of Kings Bible. This book has been prophesied in the Bible in a way that most people don't understand or haven't read. The King of Kings Bible has the King James authorized version as a foundation with cross-references in the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Holy Quran. The book that is prophesied the coming of the little white stone, the way home or face to fire, is prophesied in Revelation 10.10. 10. The King of Kings Bible highlights various cross-references to other parts in the Bible that pertain to it in the Bible. In this particular case, in Revelation 10.10, 10, I took the little book, the white stone, referred to in Revelation chapter 2.17, out of the angel's hands and ate it up. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey, and as soon as I had eaten, digested it, my belly was bitter. So by clicking on that cross-reference, it brings you directly to that scripture in the King of Kings Bible. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, to him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. The white stone is the way home or face to fire. There's another cross-reference in the Bible. In Malachi chapter 4 in the Old Testament. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the I Am, the day of judgment, the day of fire, the day when the Spirit of Christ will return in spirit form for the judgment. Many Christians think that this is going to be a happy day. Most don't realize that they have been misled by the churches that are controlled and ruled by Satan which guides them away from these truths. The truth is here now, today, and it is about to be read to you with annotated scripture. It is The Way Home or Face the Fire by Jah. The Survival Plan for All Human Plus Beings. This book is available at jahtruth.net in hard copy. We are in the end times, the times of Noah. Only this time there's no flood. This time it will be the fire of judgment when the spirit of Christ comes back to destroy all evil spirits on this planet, body and soul. It's the final judgment. The way to avoid final judgment is to read and digest this book and do what it says. The Way Home by Jah Most people wonder at the purpose of life. Is there a mission or destiny for each of us? Reconciling the claims of science with those of religion often leaves the rational mind confused. Whether you are alive to these problems or not, the way home is for you. Even if you'd go through life without considering such matters, this book is still for you. If you are puzzled, here you will find the answers. If you are asleep to the meaning of life, this book will rouse you to a jerk, for it is dynamic. It's highly revealing. It is vital. It is both unique and exhilarating. It offers an abundance of food for thought and is a tremendous challenge. It has a message too. 
a golden message for each one of us, young or old. Armageddon Survival Plan, the key. For a printed version, please contact Ja at jatruth.net. Published by Ja Publications, P.O. Box 561, The Way Home, PBM 205, Gibraltar. Copyright 1986, A.J. Hill. This email is no longer available. To contact Ja, contact him at ja at jatruth.net. An appeal to all nations of the world. Please accept this book as a gift to all of you. Without preference, forget your superstitions and religions. Unite yourselves into one brotherhood. Become children of God by adoption. And bring lasting peace on earth and have good will towards all men, please. It is your only chance to survive. Dedication. This book is dedicated to all my enemies who have ever loved me and to those who will love me in the future, hopefully the whole of mankind for eternity. I should like to give special thanks to all the people who have taught me lessons about human nature and life on earth, both good and bad lessons without which I could not have written this book. This book, like the Torah and the Quran, has been written in 40 days, and at the same time of year, I have expanded certain points later to make them easier for everyone to understand. The JA website is jatruth.net. Forward. This is not a religious book. I repeat, it is not a religious book. A religious book. In the way that you understand the word religion today with priests, churches, and their stupid pagan rites and rituals. Before you read this book, you must separate totally in your mind the Lord, Guardian of Divinity, from all forms of organized religion and superstitious nonsense, and read it with an open mind, without any preconceived ideas. The Torah, the Old Testament, the New Testament, which are combined in the Bible and the Quran, are not religious books either. They are guides sent from the Lord, guardian of divinity, God, king and ruler of the universe, to tell you what you have to do and the rules you have to follow in order to be able to be taught how you have to be so that you can eventually be allowed to go home to your real home. This book is fact, not fiction. It is the truth about life in the galaxy and here on earth. It is the truth that you have, or should have, all been waiting for thousands of years to hear. That is, what life on earth is really all about. It has been written to enlighten the world without preference to race, color, or creed. It is the book for all human plus beings, including you. If after you have read and digested its contents, you choose to disbelieve, that will have been your own decision and you will have my heartfelt pity because very soon as a result of your decision, you will first be tortured by what you have done, then burn and die on the last day, as you have been promised and continually reminded of for thousands of years. You will have missed your last chance to survive execution, and it will have been your own free choice. Whilst reading this book, as when reading any of the Guardian of Divinity's books, you must ask him to interpret it correctly for you as you are reading it, and listen for his telepathic enlightenment. If not, you will have Satan confusing you into misinterpreting it. Ask the Lord to interpret it for you in preference to any human plus being except me. Please excuse my lack of writing professionalism. I am a soldier, not a writer, and have written this book not to demonstrate and impress people with my command of the English language, but to be as easy as possible for all God's adopted children to be able to understand. 
I have written this book with my father's help and guidance and with love for all of you. If anyone is offended by this book, I suggest for your own sake that you destroy your ego and learn humility. You will then no longer be offended. If you do not destroy your ego, it will destroy you. Peace on earth, goodwill to all men. Preface An Adaptation from The Distrata of Life Go placidly amid the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrendering your principles, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly, and listen to others, even the dull and ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexations to the spirit. If you compare yourself with any other than Jesus, you may become vain and bitter. For always, there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, but not enough. And everywhere, life is full of heroism. Be yourself, especially not fiend affection, neither be critical about love. For in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune, but do not distress yourselves with imaginings. Many fears are born out of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You earned the right to be here. Whether or not it is clear to you, the heavens are unfolding as God wishes. Therefore, be at peace with him, however you conceive him to be. And whatever your labors and aspirations in the noisy confusion of human life, keep peace with your soul, with all its shams, drudgery, evil people, and broken dreams. It's still a beautiful world. Be careful, keep the commandments, do God's will, and strive to be happy and good. Adapted from the Destrata, found in Old St. Paul's Church, Baltimore, dated 1692. The Way Home, The Soul's Guide Back to Heaven, Table of Contents. Chapter 1, Before the Beginning of Human Life on Earth. Chapter 2, the Prison Reform School with No Bars, Earth Slash Hell. Chapter 3, The Creation of Human Animals. Chapter 4, The First Test in Regression to Following Lucifer. Chapter 5, A Fresh Start, The Choosing of Noah. Chapter 6, Abraham, Lot, and Sodom and Gomorrah. Chapter 7, The Choosing of Abraham and His Line. Chapter 8, the Shining Example, The Light of the World. Chapter 9, The Birth of Christianity as Yet Another Religion. Chapter 10, Muhammad and The Birth of Islam as Yet Another Religion. Chapter 11, Satan's Use of Religions to Divide, Conquer, and Rule. Chapter 12, Prince Michael, Christ Comes Again. Chapter 13, Unlucky for Some, most 